Welcome to the Rowdy Studio. The day after the season finale at Homestead, Miami, I am Buzz Cutler. Bass Masters sitting alongside We are me. all witnesses. To what? History, man. History. That was amazing. What? Amazing. It wasn't just an amazing race. It was an amazing chase. Yes. Tony Stewart won 50% of the damn races in order to barely, barely capture the championship. It was an unbelievable performance by Stewart, an unbelievable performance by his team, especially when you consider the adversity they had throughout the race. Hole in the grill early, couple slow pit stops. Left front damage. And then Darian Grubb makes this what seemed at the time to be an insane call. Let, let's save the call because we'll do a whole video on the call We can itself. break the call down maybe, but that was still a crazy call. Everyone's like, what is the guy doing? But he puts Tony in a window to make it. And he's out front with track position on Carl Edwards. And fresher and tires. Four fresh tires as opposed to two. And he said, okay, Smoke, here you go. Meanwhile, tr Tony's passing like 120 cars, driving his absolute ass off. Yeah. You know, at first, when Tony Stewart started driving from 40th up to the front, I was like, well, you know, everybody's making it easy on him. They want to see a good championship battle. Nobody's challenging him for position. And, and uh, so I took it with a grain of salt. But then when he started dive bombing and going three wide and he drove his ass wide, off. I, mean, I was just like, just whoa. Dude, man, I mean, that was that was some stellar driving. We've said it before, but I really think Tony Stewart can just take a car, put it on his back, and run it, you know, across uh, across Victory Lane when he puts his mind to it. Well, Carl Edwards, at the end of the day, needed a caution. He needed a caution I because loved, he wasn't I, I would have been cool. I would have loved one more caution. Sure, man. but let's, let's, we're not going to do any complaining. That no. was amazing. That no. was amazing. It was a great race. A and Carl Edwards needed, though, he needed something at the end there. He wasn't going to run Tony down from behind without fresh tires on him. It just wasn't going to happen. Uh, Tony Stewart's just too good. The car was just too good. And then it gets more surreal at the end of the race. You have Carl Edwards coming in and behaving with the utmost class. I mean, you have to tip your hat Absolutely, to Carl. Again, man. I think we should do a video on Carl's performance and behavior because if this guy's faking it, or an actor, I hope my kids grow up to fake it and be actors because that was an amazing performance of absolute 100% class Dignity. by Carl Edwards, keeping it all in perspective. Uh, it was unbelievable. My true feeling right now, my real, like my gut feeling in my heart is that I'm just, uh, I'm obviously disappointed we didn't win. That would have been a spectacular result, okay? But I'm very proud. You know, some of the best races I've run in my life were this chase. It's, uh, I think it's, I think it's good to be a part of things like this, and uh, I think in the end it'll just make me a better racer, make me a better person, you know, able to, to deal with stuff like this. It's, uh, it's amazing. And then you have the surreal scene of Darian Grubb showing up in the media center before Tony Stewart and basically telling everyone, yeah, he was told back at Charlotte that he was gone. I, I was told early on in the chase before Charlotte that I wasn't going to be here next year, so we just kept fighting, doing everything we had to do every week, and... It didn't change anything what the outcome was going to be. We fought as if we were going to fight to win this championship, and we did it. Now we'll just see uh, in this coming week uh, how things change. He was essentially fired is the way I read it. I don't think there's another way to read it, no, quite frankly. I think clearly he was fired. And yet he performs and makes the call that gives his guy a chance to win the well, race. It's not just, just that unbelievable. Race. As you pointed out when we were talking off camera, the first two wins the 14 earned in the chase were fuel mileage victories. And and a crew chief can take a lot of credit for a fuel mileage victory. I mean, it's all obviously the driver has to save fuel and the driver has to drive the car. But Darren Grubb, was was had a huge hand in those victories. Like a coach, the crew chief's job is to give his put his driver in position to win, and that's what he did. Now Tony Stewart still had to do the driving, and <laughs> he did do some driving. Uh, but I gotta say, you know, if you look at how things unfolded, some things are meant to be. Some things are just meant to be, and this was meant to be one of the greatest races in NASCAR history. I think this is one of those races and one of those chases that we'll be talking about in the same breath as the pass in the grass and the, uh, you know, the, the Daytona 500 with the fist fight in the infield. This race is going to be mentioned alongside of those races, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this, this race had everything. It had every scenario you could want. It had stellar driving, three and four wide passes. It had uh, challenges and damage to overcome. It had fuel mileage calls and pit calls and strategy. It, it had, had rain. It had rain. <laughs> I mean, what scenario did you want that you didn't get 
in this race. It is one for the ages. And Tony Stewart now has won a Winston Cup championship, a Nextel Cup championship, a Sprint Cup championship. And we should also mention that Hendrick Motorsports has now won six championships in a row. Well, it's a Stuart Haas championship. It's not a Hendrick championship. Let's be clear about that. But, but you know what I'm saying. Hendrick Equipment. Correct. And, and it was there at the end of the day. And the other thing I'll say is Tony Stewart, with five wins in the chase, five wins in the chase, he needed every single point. Every single pass he made on a restart, every single move he made to get those five wins, he needed every last drop if Jeff Burton, to tie if Jeff Carl Burton Edwards hadn't let the Tony breaker. Stewart go by at Phoenix. If there are so many ifs, if Carl Edwards had finished 10th instead of 11th, one day, whatever race that was. There are so many ifs, and that's what makes it amazing. The thing was in the balance right to the end. Hats it was off amazing. to both Tony Stewart and Carl Edwards for a phenomenal chase, for a great head-to-head -head battle yep. throughout the, the last half of this chase, and congratulations, obviously, to Tony Stewart, Gene Haas, and Darian Grubb for an amazing championship. Amazing. Run. Absolutely. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Thank <laughs> you.